Oh, I have spotted this food truck around town for quite some time, and I am so happy that they are joining us on the Morning Blend. You know, there's a lot that's been said about different people moving to Florida from all over the country, and one of the best things about that is the food that they bring along with them. Look at that right there. We have Amy, one of the owners, her and her uh, husband own this food truck, which you guys say, we don't even like to call it a food truck because uh, it's even a little bit more than that. But welcome to Florida. I'm so glad that you're here bringing one of my favorite foods uh, to the Bay Area, Amy. Thank you very much for having us today. We appreciate it. We're so happy to share what Charm City Eats is doing here. and. Like you said, we, we are a food truck, but we don't really consider ourselves a food truck. We're more of a, a mobile kitchen, a scratch kitchen. Um, everything on our truck we do from scratch down to the sauces that we make that accompany most of our dishes. So we're very proud of what we're doing, the food that we're putting out. And we love to have all the, the Maryland, D.C., Virginia, Pennsylvania people coming out and telling us that they've missed Maryland food. They've missed real crab cakes, and they're, they're super happy to get that taste of home. Okay, so let's talk about crab cakes because this is kind of from what I understand what you are known for. And I don't know if you killed, this is actually a blue crab here. So it's totally, you know, from I grew up in the Virginia area, Chesapeake Bay. So my dad actually sculpted that. But there is something about crab cakes and it's from what I, my personal taste, we don't want a lot of filler in our crab cakes. And I understand you guys realize that as well. Absolutely. I was born and raised my whole life in Maryland up until October finally moved down here full time. So I'm a snob when it comes to crab cake. <laughs> I always have been. Uh, Maryland people are very particular, you know, uh -huh. only the filler to, to hold the crab cake together. They want lump, they want just the key ingredients. We don't, there's no onions, no peppers, they're not fried. Uh, we do broil our crab cakes. So we keep everything as traditional as you can when it comes to what a, a real Maryland crab cake should be. Now, so, talk about that right there, that chicken, though, because uh, this has my husband's name written all over it. It's like, <laughs> is, it, is it kind of like a national hot chicken kind of thing? It is. And it's funny because um, when we were in Maryland, our kids love, obviously, Royal Farms chicken. I mean, it's great. It's, uh -huh. you know, so they were living off of chicken tenders <laughs> for a lot of while as kids do sometimes. Hey, I get it. I get it. Um, and they, when we decided we were going to do the food truck, um, we spent months and months doing samples, recipes, and sharing it with Marylanders and just trying to get everything perfect. Um, so we wanted to create a real fried chicken um, that could speak to some of the fried chicken you're going to see in Maryland, because that's actually, aside from your pit beef and your crab cakes, that's also one of the things that they're known for. So we pickle brine our chicken, we we flour dredge it, we double dredge it on the truck, uh, we do homemade sauces with it, uh, we do a, a Sagamore Rye Old Bay barbecue sauce, which is awesome, and we do a Chesapeake sauce, this is also homemade, that goes with our chicken. So it's kind of our spin on like a Nashville hot chicken, but it does have that Baltimore spin to it. So it's Old Bay hot sauce, it's a mixture of different spices, it's it's very good, we, we sell a ton of fried chicken. Besides. I'm assuming the Old Bay was a key ingredient in both the sauces and then some of the other items as well. <laughs> I think I think we have Old Bay on almost everything. Yeah, on the good. As we it should be. Of, a lot of Old Bay. Actually, when we moved from Maryland, we bought like all the Old Bay hot sauce we could find. <laughs> that might have been why there was a shortage. Did you remember last year in the middle of COVID, there was a shortage of Old Bay. I'm like, what am I going to do? I can't get it at our grocery store. It was probably us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where can people find you? What I love about the food truck and the food truck community where you guys are supporting each other and, you know, it just seems so cool that while some of the events, you know, last year may have been kind of down, you guys are in neighborhoods and I, people love their food trucks. Yes, and we love the the support that we've had from the community. Um, when we first started out, we were doing a lot of breweries, a lot of neighborhood events and festivals that were still happening. Um, we've kind of expanded that now to more private catering, corporate catering, customer appreciation. The business owners want to bring something in that's really different for um, for the people that work for them. So our menu is pretty extensive for a food truck. Um, so we kind of have everything that's gonna fit all those needs. So we did a few weddings, so we, yeah. we've expanded, but we, we're running the truck um, as much as we can. We did hire additional staff okay. to help us. Um, so we're just trying to get out there and get, get our name out there and try to get everyone to try our food. 
Well, we are so excited to be able to put a little spotlight and keeping it local. I can't wait to try it again. I, I see it around town a lot, so I'm super excited to actually uh, sink my teeth into it. CharmCityEats.com, that's the website. We'll put additional details on our website. I just love your story. You, you both had corporate jobs and you said, nope, we're gonna do what we love. And we're so yeah, glad that you're doing it here in the Bay Area. Thank you so much. Take care. We look forward to seeing you again soon. All right, I'll see you soon.